Hey everyone, welcome to the Wayward Stories YouTube channel. Um, we're going to be doing a review today. Um, I know it's a little bit of a departure from our normal adventure videos, but it is peak season at work delivering packages and I have no days off for a long, long time. So we're going to try to keep some content coming out. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Keen Targi 3 WP, which stands for waterproof, think about it, um, mid top. And if you um, follow my channel at all, you've seen I've already done a review on his little brother, the low top. And I'd mentioned in there how it seemed to have like a high center of gravity and it, it bothered me for my ankle stability because I had recently yacked my ankle in a very, very real way, um, ligament damage and all that. And I'd mentioned how I want to try the mid version for ankle support because I love that shoe so much. So I bought this and this now has clocked right at 500 miles on it at work and hiking and just like the low I absolutely love this shoe um, these things are so comfortable just like get that right off the top they're some of the most comfortable shoes boots of any kind I've ever put on but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about how it's working out durability wise but we're also gonna do a waterproof test and I'm gonna stand in this creek for about five minutes <clears throat> that I'm not gonna make you watch all of that's worse than watching paint dry but we're gonna do a little time-lapse dissolve through the magic of editing and uh, see if it actually keeps my feet dry. I'm gonna try to stand as high as I possibly can without it coming over the top. Um, so yeah, but first things first, let's talk about the ankle support. When I injured my ankle, I did a lot of damage to the ligaments in this area. It was swollen almost, I mean, easily twice as big as my other ankle was. Um, and then I broke these two bones right here from the outer two digits. Um, and I had a lot of trouble in the low tops with it rolling again, like just step on I me. Mean, honestly, I could step on a pebble like this and roll my ankle enough that it hurt. It was that weak. It was that messed up in there. So when I got these to test them out and start wearing them, the first thing I noticed when you put them on is they fit like a glove right here around your ankle. I mean, obviously they're mids, they're designed to have ankle support. And I'm going to say it's a good design because it feels it's incredibly comfortable, it's not constrictive, it flexes with you as you go, but it literally feels like you're slipping your foot into, I mean, honestly, like slipping your hand into a glove. That's what it feels like. It fits right around your ankle. When you tie it up tight, one thing, the laces, I think, are a little bit long because you can't go all the way around and tie them off and have enough left. But when you tie them off here, you end up in a little bit of a situation where you got to do the double knot which is always good but they're almost still too long but not a big deal they're super comfortable like i wear them for average day 10 hours but i've been up to 12 and 13 hours here recently um during peak season at work and my shoes or these boots never ever bother me they're always comfortable um and i always have a lot of support right here and i have not rolled my ankle since I started wearing these and now I'm, I'm loath to take them off because I absolutely love them and I feel safer in them for my ankle's sake. And now my ankles feel kind of naked whenever I wear any of my low tops like my regular tennis shoes or the other Targis that I have that are a low top. So anyway, all in all, the ankle support is wonderful in these. So now let's get to the waterproof test. All right, so now we're gonna do the waterproof test. Um, I'm gonna sit here for five minutes and keep my feet submerged at this level. Couldn't find a level that was just a little bit higher. It's either just too deep or just too shallow. So this is gonna work. The full top of my foot is covered. So yeah, we're gonna give this a shot for five minutes. What we got on the clock. And let's do some magical movie editing now and work our way into a cross dissolve. All right, I have wild away closer to seven minutes now on Instagram. Um, lost track of time. So now we're gonna step out of the water here and pull these off and see how waterproof they actually are. So my foot is not dry, but there's a good reason for that. Had the water up to about this level right here. And if you look, my foot stayed dry the entire time until like the last minute and a half or two minutes, I started to feel the cold seep in around my ankle. And it was seeping in pretty high. 
and it was seeping in right in this area. And I thought at first it was this, I thought it was right here. But what it is, is it's the junction of where the tongue meets the rest of the, the body of the boot. And I have to say, it held out for almost the entire, well, I was in there almost seven minutes. It held out for the entire five minutes I was gonna test it. And it was in the last couple that it started to come in. And then the one on my right came in quite a bit. It got pretty wet. Um, my left foot still completely dry all the way down except for a damp spot right here in the same general area. But it didn't leak in as badly as this one did. And that could have just been from me tying the right one less than, um, less effectively than the left one. Um, so in all honesty, and that is the other half of that testimony is I wear these to work every day. It rains on me all the time and I walk through puddles all the time and my feet have never gotten wet once. It's one reason I wanted to test them in this scenario to make this video. Um, so at first I was surprised my feet got wet, but after looking at it, yeah, I had them submerged up past the point that you should be able to reasonably expect them to be waterproof. So all in all, if you keep it below the upper half of your ankle, just about even with the ball of your foot, you've got a waterproof boot. Above that, if you stand in cold water, or any water, but cold water today, my feet are cold. Um, for more than five minutes, you're probably gonna get some leakage around the upper ankle. All right, so my overall take on the Keen Target 3 WP Mid is that it is an incredible boot. Just like it's little brother, the low top, that I love so much that prompted me to buy the mid top for ankle support. It's one of the most comfortable boots I've ever worn. It is com very durable, like wearing these at work, on the dock in the mornings before I get out on my route. I'm on gravel all day, in and out of the truck all day. It's metal to gravel to metal to mud to water. It's I mean, it's honestly more demanding than a hiking trail. And these have also been on the hiking trail up to 500 miles. They still look great. They still feel great, super comfortable, a ton of ankle support. And that's testimony for me because I have a really messed up ankle. Um, and waterproof within reasonable parameters up to the point that you should expect it to not be waterproof anymore. So if you keep it below here, 100% waterproof, never had a problem with them. Um, all in all, again, for $130, like I'm not the kind of guy that's going to spend that on a shoe, but yeah, like maybe now I am because the, these are incredible boots. Keen is doing something really great with their stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found some useful information in here. I hope I answered some questions for you about this particular boot. If you like the content we're putting out, please like and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. It helps the channel continue to grow. Um, and you know, like the actual point of this whole channel is to uh, get everyone's stories about what the great outdoors means to them and their personal path through life. So if you got a story you want to tell to be featured on a forthcoming podcast that we'll be dropping probably in the next six months, email me at mywaywardstory at gmail.com and tell me that story. I'd love to hear from you guys. I appreciate you and we'll catch you in the next video. wherever you might be, that though the hill might be steep, and the trail be rocky, the mountaintop awaits. Carry on.